One year has passed since the Great East Japan earthquake. There are still vast areas of land with nothing left standing along the coast in Miyagi Prefecture. The Ibarada section of Yamamoto town is about 40 kilometers south of the city of Sendai. A man walks alone in a vast expanse of vacant lots. Mr. Yoshio Saito is president of Iwaki Diecast Company Limited, which supplied automobile components to customers both in Japan and overseas. This is where this company was founded and the location of their factory. This was a factory. It was all washed away. There's nothing left at all. This was the foundation of our factory. I was on vacation at the time. It would have been my end had I been there. The Ibarata factory immediately after the disaster. The buildings were knocked down. The heavy equipment was knocked over. Everything was washed out to sea by the tsunami. I was never concerned with the loss. Recovery and renaissance are what is important. From the day of the earthquake, Iwaki Diecast has been working towards, literally, a renaissance. Fortunately, another factory which is located somewhat inland escaped damage from the tsunami. We borrowed generators and focused on repairing the equipment that would be used. However, the force of the earthquake reached every part of the factory. Although die casting creates metal parts by pouring molten metal into a mold. This work has been brought to a stop. This enormous pipe can be called the factory's main artery. Although it must carry molten metal, its temperature fell when the power went out, and now it's blocked with solidified aluminum. That wasn't the question. The only question was swift recovery. President Saito never gave up hope. Hmm, is there any way we can avoid a stoppage in the supply of parts? He then came up with an extreme suggestion. Let's give our molds to our competitors and have them manufacture these parts. This was a decision that was unheard of in the cast parts manufacturing industry. We've accepted these orders and thus have a responsibility to deliver. If we can't deliver, we have to pass along our molds to other manufacturers in the industry. The dyes and molds are truly the core technology for parts manufacturers. They're industrial secrets that concentrate all the technical know-how of a company. Just seeing them allows you to understand a company's technical capabilities and the structure of their production management system. Iwaki Diecast handed over their molds to other die-casting manufacturers so that they could make parts for export. It would not have been acceptable for us to consider only our profits, because it would cause problems for our customers if we fail to deliver even one part. After that, Mr. Neil de Coker, president and CEO of OESA, toured Tohoku to see for himself the corporate renaissance. Here's what Mr. Dakoka reported to the U.S. media about Iwaki Diecast after his return. Iwaki Diecast sent its proprietary molds to competitors so that they could help resume production and keep their customers supplied with parts. I am amazed at the responsiveness, the dedication, and the commitment of suppliers to assure the continuity of a supply to their customers under all circumstances. One thing that was surprising was that before summer arrived, Iwaki Diecast had returned to essentially the same level of production capacity it had prior to the disaster. There was more good news for Iwaki Diecast in July. Toyota has positioned Tohoku as its third major manufacturing region after Chubu and Kyushu, and will locate its compact car operations from development through production in Tohoku. Toyota will merge three companies and establish a new company in Miyagi Prefecture. Toyota has announced that this will be its third domestic Japanese production center. 
This will also be a plus for the region and is necessary for Toyota's global competitiveness. We are hoping for suppliers that will work together with us in respectful competition. If Japan as a whole collapses, we will all collapse. But what would happen if all of us parts manufacturers expanded globally together? Japan must work together to recover. <laughs> On February 6, 2012, in Oshu City, Iwate Prefecture, where the snow was falling, a bus carrying 21 foreign purchasers arrived. Iron Works have been around for hundreds. They'd come all the way here from abroad to see the Nambu Ironware, which is a traditional craft in Iwate Prefecture. The destination of the tour was the venerable firm called Oigen. Nambu Ironware has become a well-established brand outside Japan as a traditional craft representative of Japan. However, the effects of the Great East Japan earthquake were felt here as well. Here is how Ms. Oikawa described it. Since we were asked by our distributors who export to Europe and the U.S. whether or not radiation would be an issue with our products, we called the Jetro office in Morioka City and asked for their help with this issue. Jetro Morioka quickly requested assistance from the Iwate Industrial Research Office and they tested for radiation without charge. The result was that there was no change from the pre-disaster levels they were able to resume exports quickly. Thanks to this quick response, their export levels are the same as they were before the disaster. The foreign purchasers studied the Nambu ironware manufacturing process in detail. This is an artisan's art that has been protected carefully since the Edo period. the form, the design, and the whole atmosphere of the teapots. Mm -hmm. A lot of curries and mm, um, rice and everything. Such thinness with such a beautiful cast surface and so round itself is something unknown anywhere else and is truly a heritage. It is because our products are firmly based on traditions that exist today. And were we to lose those traditions, the products would be no different from products made in any other locality. Moving to another place, this is Sukagawa City in Fukushima Prefecture. Before the disaster, this was the site of the precision metalworking company Hayashi Seiki Seizo Company Limited. The company was established over 90 years ago and was widely respected for its high added value products, such as metal parts for high-end watches. Now, a year after the Great East Japan earthquake, Mr. Hayashi, president and CEO, showed us the site. Well, since we've dismantled and removed the rubble, it's just an enormous vacant lot. The earthquake destroyed the combined factory and business office facility. There were 52 employees, but since the equipment caught the ceiling as it fell, miraculously, everyone was safe. Soon after the disaster, President Hayashi rented an unused factory from a customer and moved the company's production site. All the employees assisted in moving the equipment, and they were able to restart work in just over a month. They had returned to their pre-disaster capacity by June. According to President Hayashi, real recovery will take time. True recovery is to create a solid foundation that will support continued growth for the future, even three or five years from now. I really think that if we can do that, it'll be a true recovery. President Hayashi's actions were quick. He made a point of exhibiting the company's products at the medical equipment shows in October in Korea and in November in Germany. The products President Hayashi is promoting are medical components, an area his company committed to three years ago. It had been the company's dream to apply the metalworking technologies the company had developed as a watch parts manufacturer to the medical field. 
For example, consider the bolts and plates used for broken bones. Materials such as metals that affect the skin cannot be used. Also, there are common aspects in the performance required in medical equipment and watch parts. At the shows, German medical equipment manufacturers showed strong interest in Hayashi Seiki's technologies. Having received strong positive feedback, President Hayashi is now positioning the medical field as their second focus after watch parts. If Japan were to lose the spirit of Monozukuri, Japan would have no future and would wither. This is one of my beliefs.